Joe Stoltz here for Pioneer Web TV in CSUEB's Multimedia Graduate Lab. I'm here to speak with several graduate students about the multimedia program, their thesis projects, and the technology that they're learning. The Multimedia Graduate Program is a two-year master's degree that focuses heavily on using technology to create content-rich interactive projects. So in the first year of the program, you basically study the theoretical element of multimedia. So you're learning the history of multimedia, you're learning the business aspect of multimedia. Um, things like basic programming, if you haven't learned that before, or Photoshop, some movie making, um, and a whole lot of working in groups. So a lot of project development and getting people together and sharing ideas. And you're developing these ideas and meeting other people in the program during that first year. And then you try to develop a relationship with them and you try to figure out what it is you both like and then you can create a uh, group around that thesis that will eventually become your thesis project for the second year. The first year of study prepares these students to propose a group thesis project to their faculty heads. Once approved, they spend the remaining year creating and exhibiting that project. A representative from each group of the current multimedia graduating class sat down and told me about their projects. Right now I'm working on a transmedia project. It's called Cresimo, um, and it's a project that uses multiple mediums, so animation, um, the iPad, web comics, Facebook, and uh, the web to tell a story, in our case an environmental story. Uh, we're doing a thesis project called the Magorgamatorium, which is this interactive uh, immersive set environment where you can walk in and kind of get the feel of being inside this fantastic environment that represents the office of this fictional explorer who's been all over the world and seen all sorts of magical things that don't actually exist. And by interacting with the things that he owns and experiencing the life inside his office, you really get a feel for what he is and what this sort of magical Harry Potter-esque world is. The theme we're going for is this uh, steampunk kind of Victorian era, really, really high class, high gloss, um, area where you can you can really be immersed and not feel like you're standing in the middle of a lab or, or somewhere in, in Hayward. You know, it really takes you to a different environment. Um, so my project, I'm working with two other guys, uh, Martin Wood and Mustafa Ibrahimi, and we're working on a project called Conceal 360, which is a 360 degree uh, digital video or short video. So basically what it is, we have six uh, DSLR cameras and we built a custom rig and they're in a hexagonal rig, so it shoots uh, with wide angle lenses, it shoots all the way around, so we get the entire 360 degrees of a scene. So a user can, when they're watching the, the movie, they can scroll through every little aspect of what's going on in the scene. So there's, you know, there's things happening on the left side of the screen, and there's things happening on the complete opposite end of the screen. So uh, the user has to be really interactive and interactively looking and searching uh, through the movie. So there's kind of an interactive storytelling part of it, and then the interactive technology part of it. The Multimedia Graduate Program is constantly updating their technology to accommodate the needs of their students. The latest technology obtained by the department includes a red camera, in addition to a 3D printer. For more information about CSUEB's Multimedia Department, go to their website or speak with Raquel Arcia in the Art Office. This is Joe Stoltz signing off for Pioneer Web TV.